Good evening, fishing friends. Welcome to another episode out in the trusty old Debo Dink John boat. We're going to see if we can find anything tonight. Got a few hours, quite a bit of uh, wind on the water tonight. We'll see. Hopefully, we can get some top water going. I don't know. I've got a few things to try. This is a place that's kind of stumped me the last couple times I've been here. Um, really, one of the only places I've hit in the John boat this year. So, come out tonight for some revenge. We'll see if we can get anything. I don't know. But, uh, only got a few hours, so let's get fishing. All right, I think I'm gonna try throwing this Tokyo rig around, put a little bit of chartreuse on it. This water's decently dirty. Can't see down extremely far, but I'm gonna try throwing this around up in here in these shallows, some of these reeds and stuff, see if there's any fish up in here. All right, well, the bottom seems to be pretty, uh, pretty much filled with dirty, gross dead vegetation. What is that, is that a lure? Huh, that's pretty cool. Found somebody's old Super Spook Junior. It's good for pike and white bass. Pretty gross and roasted out. I don't know if that's still good, but there we go. All right, might be my best luck of the day finding a lure. We'll see. All right, just for the heck of it, we've got the shaded side over here. I don't know about this color. This color is pretty natural, but I'm gonna try uh, try the chapo. It's got a pretty good pop on it. Let's see if we can draw anything up with a little bit larger, louder top water. Just letting the wind push me right now. I'm fishing this too fast, I know, right now, but no, get off that, really. Come on. Okay, I switched up. We got some kind of dirty water, so I'm gonna try throwing that. That's the Cotton Cordell Super Spot. That's in a gold color. This water is pretty dirty. See if that uh, see if that gold color will show up in this. It's a half ounce too, so it should be a little bit easier to throw around. Just gonna kind of go down this uh, this shoreline. See if we can start figuring a bite out. The hard part is it's been so hard to maneuver the boat because even when I put my anchor down, I'm still getting blown all around. That's no fun. Well, switching over, gonna try the spinner bait. So far, not even a bite tonight. Still some old dead vegetation out here. Maybe I should switch to a chatter bait? I don't know. Haven't been able to draw any fish up to bite. Nothing. There we go. Just as I got it stuck in a little bit of grass there. All right. First guy of the night is not a monster. That's a fish on the spinnerbait and that's a sign. Okay. Well, I switched up to something with a little bit more uh, flash and such. Looks like that might've worked for us. All right, so there we go. Switched up to that little Buddha bait spinnerbait. These fish are cold, this water's dropping. All right, well, there we go. The first one on the spinnerbait. Decided to pull over to this little spot here. We're out of the wind. The wind was just beating me all up. I figured, you know what, with the sun going down, we've still got a good amount of wind out here. Let's see if we can get anything to come up and eat the spinnerbait. Let's see, we'll try a few more casts with this. And if we're just fighting the grass, I might switch over to a swim jig or maybe even a chatterbait. All right, let's try going over to a swim jig just because there is a bunch of grass and stuff. All right, switching over to the swim jig. Let's see if this makes any difference. See if I can find a fish with the old swimming jig. I think as dirty as it is, I probably should go to the chatterbait, but. All right, made a switch. I'm trying out the Thunder Cricket. I haven't even tied this thing on yet. Figuring, you know what, with this dirtier water, put a, a laminate black and green pumpkin Zacco on back. See if I can find anything with this. It has not been a good night of finding patterns, getting the fish figured out. Once again, this place has kicked my butt. I don't get it. There's one. Oh, hey, there we go. Better fish. Better fish, trying not to get over there. All right, that dude smacked it coming out of there. 
see if I can do this one handed, get the uh, anchor down. Don't come off fish. Oh, let's get you in the boat. No, that's not gonna work. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Oh, trying to get the anchor down. Try not to blow that spot up. I think I got it down. All right, there we go. Well, hey, that's a decent fish. All right. All right, well, there we go. First good fish of the night. That's a two pounder on the night. We'll take some more of those guys. Switched over to the Thunder Cricket. Off he goes. All right. All right, so there it is. That's the Strike King Thunder Cricket. That's in a black and red. I put like a, a black and green pumpkin Zacco on there from uh, Yamamoto, Gary Yamamoto Zacco. Let's see if there's any more. It felt like there's a little bit of grass over here. And as soon as I came out of that grass, it smashed it. I was trying to get the boat in position and turn it and then try to get the anchor down so I didn't blow up that spot. It feels like another good fish. Okay. Okay. We found something elite. Get in here. We found something they'll eat. That was another cast, just a couple later. Look at that. What do you think? Think that uh, Thunder Cricket did the deal there? All right, yes sir. Made a switch. Looky there. Another good, probably, I don't know, two and a half pounder. Getting closer to a three there for sure. Yes, all right, well. There's a two. Let's just see. Let's let's just see. People always always like to see the weight of it. Why not? Oh, very close. Two pounds, six ounces. So just a couple ounces shy of two and a half. Very close there. Two pounder, almost a two and a half pounder. Good looking fish for sure. Those are fun to catch. All right, there we go. Another one. Okay, well, it's been a night of pretty much no bites. Tried the spinner bait, got one over there finally through the uh, the chop all around to see if I could drag anything up for a topwater bite nothing nothing switched over to the little thunder cricket and there we go there's another one do you see it pop slack in that oh man I think we found where they're at that's three that was almost three fish three casts that's two fish back to back right there on that thunder cricket yes all night all night has been nothing after nothing after nothing Switched over to this Thunder Cricket. Got something. Give me that back. He's trying to eat it. Goodness, he was already trying to eat that thing. Greedy little dude. Maybe a pounder. Whew. Sure was feisty. All right, we've clearly found where these fish are. There's a little bit of vegetation off this right as this kind of slopes out. A little bit of a gradual drop off out here. Drop off and some vegetation. They're kind of packed up in this so we'll see that's three that we've got off this hopefully we can find a couple more up in here well the uh, the old SLX DC casts a lot better now I had to go through and read the instruction manual I know my man Tim tried telling me dude got to turn that spool tension up generally I'm somebody that likes to have a little bit of side to side play on the spool tension uh, if you get the SLX DC you don't want to fish it that way because you have a lot of backlashes like I did but now that I've, uh, I've tightened that up, I've still got it on three. I'm running 16 pound fluorocarbon on it. Did not make any change to the external brakes, just tightened up that spool tension and it is working much better. Man, the chatterbait, the chatterbait has been the deal this year. Last year, I didn't want to put the swim jig down. My absolute favorite thing to throw. This year, the chatterbait has been doing work. This year, the water that I've fished has been a lot dirtier too for whatever reason. We didn't have tons of rain earlier on. We got some. And then kind of in the middle, it just sort of stopped. The places have been a lot dirtier, so this chatterbait has been doing a little better work for me. There's one, another one in the grass. Okay, ticking the tops of that grass and that dude ate it. Apparently they wanted this darker color instead of that kind of brighter spinner bait. Ooh, don't know how he didn't jump off. Good thing those hooks are good. Easy little dude. All right, there we go. Another one, yeah, he'd go a pound, I bet. Another one on the old Thunder Cricket. Okay, well, we found it. After switching up, after switching up, trying different things, I really thought the spinner bait would do it. We had a bunch of uh, 
bunch of ripple on the water, good amount of sun. For whatever reason, they didn't want that. I tried the swim jig, but there was just too much, too much wind for it. I couldn't feel anything on it. I don't think it had enough vibration. This water is actually pretty dirty. There we go. Finally switched over to the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Getting a few bites. Another one. Not a big dude. Came back to this side. Tried the other side. Nothing. Came over here and there we go. Yeah, man, it is that grass. Other side had no grass. I wasn't ticking anything. Came back over here. There we go. Another little dude, but he'd, I'm pretty sure he'd go pound too. You can tell they're definitely eating. They're starting to get little guts on them. There's another fish. All right, making a slight move. I tried the chatterbait in a few other spots. No, uh, no more dice on it. I think we'll go back to that spot where we hit some fish on it before, but uh, since we still have some wind and the sun's going down, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try throwing the buzz bait around over here. See if we can call anything up with it. There's a little bit of calm water over here. I've seen some fish plopping and flopping and hitting. So maybe they're hitting some top water over here where it's a little calmer. Oh, I saw that dude chasing it. Oh, that was cool. Not a, not a beast, but I hope that showed up. He was trailing it and coming hot after it. That was cool. That was cool. I saw up in these, yo, that's gonna be a hook in the finger. There we go, all right. Pounder, little pounder. Been good at catching those. Hey, this is nice. The, uh, the wind finally calmed down for us here. There we go. There we go. Bringing the buzz bait by him. You like that? Okay, sun's going down. I figure why not? Let's try switching to the buzz. See if we get anything. Oh yeah, another good fish. Close to a two again. Absolutely, I'll take those. Who barely had him in the corner of his mouth. That trailer was insurance there. There we go. Yeah, it's another solid fish. Close to two. We'll take that on the buzz bait. That's a couple. Okay, let's see. Go fish. He's out. All right, well, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try throwing this chatterbait back over some of this. I wasn't watching, I was trying to fix my headlamp. Kind of drove over that corner, I did not want to do that. All right, trying to get one more before I leave. Got serious, oh, there it is. Got serious and put the headlamp on. Got this thing at the Gander going out of business sale. I tell you all, I am a dummy for not having one of these sooner. There we go, another one, yes. Parked over here to fish parallel to all this grass. You can see I've still got some grass down here. That's the stuff we were fishing through. That grass is still alive, green. And that was holding those fish. There we go, another one over a pound. Pound and a quarter probably, quarter pound to a cheese. Out here in the dark, still catching some of those things. He has been eating, look at that. Got a belly on him. I just kind of let myself drift up into this. Just kind of fishing parallel to this uh, this line of vegetation. I can feel it, I can feel it ticking through there. And this was the only spots really that produced a consistent bite. All that green grassy stuff, or leafy stuff, it's not even grass, green leafy stuff held the fish. Oh my gosh, the mosquitoes are eating me alive. I gotta get out of here, help me. All right, fishing friends, just got home. Pretty successful night in the old D boat. Caught me a few good fish. Had fun after I finally got them figured out. Most all of the fish came on. That right there, the old Strike King Thunder Cricket. That's a black and red, black blade on it. I like it. The trailer there kind of giving you an upside down look. That's the Gary Yamamoto Zacco. It's like black and blue on top, green pumpkin on bottom. I like the way it looked a lot. Finally having a little bit of luck with the old SLX DC. Had to turn up the spool tension on that a lot more than I thought. 
Uh, usually I keep my spool tension kind of light, but with that I notice you have to turn it up just a little bit tighter. The other thing that got me some bites was, again, no stranger, y'all just saw this a little while ago. That's the uh, that War Eagle buzz bait, and on the back of it I have a Reaction Innovations Skinny Dipper. And that caught a few fish on that too on the buzz bait. So all in all, pretty good night. Using the chatter bait, trying to follow up and go over the same spots with the buzz bait, produce some fish. But the biggest key tonight was finding those isolated pieces of grass. I didn't get any bites unless I was barely taking it over the grass, bringing it through there, and that's where I found fish. This, get one of these, see that? Getting dark out, a headlamp is truly, truly a priceless item. Got one at the uh, the Gander Outdoors 50% sale. This thing has been 100% worth the money. I didn't even pay full price for this, but something little, I've never had one. Well, I had some of the cheap ones that you like clip on your hat, junk. Get one of these, get a good nice one. Definitely, definitely like having one of those. Okay, and lastly, tonight's subscribe, fish, and friend shout out goes to Jeff Gerald. Jeff, thank you for watching my videos. You're always a guy that comments. I appreciate that a lot. And not just you, Jeff, but everybody else that watches, I truly appreciate it. But that's it. It's late. As you can see, it's dark. I got to get going to bed. So thank you all for watching. And until next time.